the real causes of hair loss on the head in both men and women. Your hair strands consist of a hard protein called keratin, which is made out of dead, hardened cells. Normally, the hair has a thick, full texture which grows evenly from hair follicles all over your head. However, when there's something wrong in the body, the hair growth cycles can be disrupted, causing your hair to fall out faster and not grow back as it should. For example, you may notice that your hair is becoming thinner if you're deficient in minerals. Your hairline may begin receding around the edges or the back if there is a hormonal imbalance, or you may begin losing patches of hair when the immune system is attacking the hair follicle, causing poor blood flow to the hair matrix. It's very normal to lose a little hair as you get older, as you tend to make less stem cells to form your hair as you age. However, if you're noticing hair loss happening over a short period of time, perhaps less than a year, there is likely a deeper problem going on inside the body. Hair follicles have very sensitive cycles of growth, which can be easily affected when there is something wrong in the body. In this video, we're going to explore the 8 main causes of hair loss on the head in both women and men and how to reverse this using nutrition and natural remedies. Bear in mind that this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if you have any medical concerns. 1. Hormonal imbalance The first and most common cause of hair loss in both women and men is having too much androgen hormones called DHT. This causes men to have a receding hairline or balding at the back of the head. In women, the hair tends to thin out all over the head. The hormone DHT binds to the hair follicle and causes it to shrink, which suffocates it and blocks the growth of new hairs. 2. Zinc Deficiency The zinc mineral helps to block an enzyme in your body from converting your testosterone into DHT. If you're not getting enough zinc in your diet or you aren't absorbing it properly, this may be causing your hair loss. You can up your intake of zinc simply by taking 25 mg of zinc bisglycinate per day along with 1 mg of copper. Copper is important because it works in balance with the zinc and it can also help to prevent premature greying of the hair as a bonus. Cause number 3 of hair loss is poor blood flow. If you don't have enough oxygen and nutrients reaching your scalp because of poor blood circulation, hair loss can be a result. This tends to happen quite often to people who are overweight, have diabetes, insulin resistance, or consume lots of refined carbohydrates and alcohol. Now, nitric oxide helps to widen your blood vessels and improve circulation to the scalp in order to grow thicker, healthier hair. You can boost your nitric oxide by drinking watermelon rind juice, eating celery often, getting more exercise, or taking an L-arginine supplement. Boosting nitric oxide also helps to prevent the hormonal imbalance that commonly causes hair loss. Quickly, if you're finding this information helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and turn all notifications on so that I can keep you updated with the latest health and nutrition tips. Cause number 4 is digestive problems and this is quite common. In order to grow healthy hair, your body uses various amino acids, minerals and vitamins like biotin, copper, zinc and lysine. So you need to have a very strong and healthy digestive system in order to absorb these raw materials from the foods that you eat. However, if you have bloating, gas, indigestion, acid reflux, heartburn or some type of inflammation in your colon, you may not be absorbing enough of these nutrients, causing you to lose your hair. To overcome these problems, you can use remedies like apple cider vinegar, betaine hydrochloride, digestive enzyme capsules and cabbage juice. All of these will help to strengthen your digestive juices so that you may absorb more hair strengthening nutrients. 5. Microbe imbalance on the scalp Malassezia is a species of fungi which naturally feeds off the oil produced by your scalp. 
Sometimes, however, these microbes can start to become out of balance because you have used too many hair care products which contain harsh chemicals. This can cause an overgrowth of this fungi, which then produces irritants that cause inflammation in the hair follicle, along with dandruff, itchiness of the scalp and flaking skin. This inflammation can block the normal growth of the hair strands from the follicle, causing your hair loss. Number 6. High Stress Many people also suddenly lose their hair as a result of having high levels of cortisol, which is the stress hormone. High cortisol is usually caused by suffering from a lot of mental, emotional stress for a long period of time, but it can also be triggered by taking steroid medications, menopause, having a severe illness or not sleeping enough. Cortisol disrupts the normal hair growth cycles, pushing the follicles into the resting phase where the hair eventually sheds and falls away. 7. Leaky Gut If you lose your hair in different patches on your head, you may be suffering from an autoimmune condition. This is linked with having damage to the walls of the intestines in your gut, which causes toxins to leak into the bloodstream. This promotes inflammation throughout the body and can cause your immune system to start attacking your hair follicles. Leaky gut can easily be improved by using L-glutamine, cabbage juice, probiotics and avoiding trigger foods like gluten, grains and dairy. And number 8 is thyroid problems. If your hair is suddenly thinning out evenly all over the scalp, it can sometimes indicate a thyroid problem. Speak with your doctor for a blood test to determine thyroid issues and see my video titled 5 Vitamins for Hypothyroidism for more information. How to Stop Hair Loss and Grow Thicker Hair Now that you have an understanding on what's causing your hair loss and how it can be different triggers for different people, let's explore 6 natural ways to stop your hair loss and grow thicker hair. Trace Mineral Foods Eat foods rich in zinc, iodine and selenium on a regular basis, including beef liver, pumpkin seed, shellfish, oysters, brazil nuts, sea kelp and sea salt. These minerals help to balance hormones and support protein synthesis and cell division within the hair follicle. Rosemary oil. Three times per week, massage some rosemary oil into the scalp for 10 to 15 minutes and then let it sit overnight before washing with a gentle shampoo in the morning. Rosemary oil soaks into the scalp and the hair root and naturally blocks reductase and DHT, the hormone that's usually causing hair loss. You may also want to start using more fresh rosemary in your cooking and your food. Blood flow. Improve blood circulation to your scalp by boosting nitric oxide levels. Do this by eating berries for vitamin C, get nitrates from arugula, beets and celery, drink green tea and eat the green flesh within the watermelon. Exercise at least twice per week with some cardio to further boost your circulation. Protein. Since your hair is made out of protein, give your body the raw materials that it needs to build new healthy strands, including lysine, methionine, cysteine, arginine and tyrosine. The best natural sources of these amino acids would be pasture-raised eggs, beef liver, shellfish, red meat and cheese from grass-fed cows. Hair care. I'd recommend switching your shower head to one which contains a filter to remove fluorides from the tap water. In some people, fluorides can weaken the thyroid and cause hair loss. I also recommend switching to a sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner, as many brands contain harsh sulfates which destroys the keratin in your hair. If you use a lot of dry shampoo, stop immediately as this causes dandruff and can irritate the scalp. Digestion Strengthen your stomach and your ability to absorb nutrients by eating fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, kefir and pickles. These help you to absorb more minerals and amino acids in order to replenish the stem cells in the dermal papilla at the hair follicle root. Supplements You could also take supplements that can reduce the hair shedding phase and boost the hair growth phase, such as vitamin D3, 
virgin cod liver oil, zinc bisglycinate, L-arginine and nutritional yeast. For more information on anti-aging and improving overall health, I've put a playlist on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching another of my videos today and as always I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.